Hello, 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 human. We meet again. And it is always, always nice to have you here. I hope you're doing great. I'm doing okay. And um, today, without wasting any of your time, I will just be quickly talking about student jobs in France, how to find them, jobs that do not need English, I mean, jobs that do not need that necessarily need French. Um, the number of hours you are allowed to work in France can having a student job help you survive in France without any other source of income. I will be talking about all of that, and also, as usual, every important link would be shared in the description box. I'm a little bit tired, maybe it's not visible, I mean, you can't necessarily see that I'm very tired and sleepy and my eyes are kind of red. I don't know if you can see, it will be fine. So, are you able to get jobs, like, upon your arrival in France, are you able to get jobs that do not require French? Yes, you are able to do that. But then, Knowing that there are probably a ton of other international students that maybe do not speak English that are moving to France and are also trying to get jobs that require just that do not necessarily require French. As soon as you get your visa and you've booked your flight to come to France, I think you should already start. If you if you know that you 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 need. You know, there's a difference between want and need. If you know that you need, like you know that a, a, a student job is necessary for your survival when you arrive in France, then start applying already so that probably in the first, in the first few weeks um, when you arrive in France, you are able to have a job. So, what kind of jobs would not necessarily require French? Basically, jobs that do not Firstly, to be jobs that do not need you to interact with people, like a cleaning job, uh, dog walking. Yes, they have things like that in France. Nanny, some nanny jobs it may vary because some people hire English speaking people to take care of their kids and also teach them English. So you can be nanny slash uh, English teacher to kids and that wouldn't necessarily need French. Yes, there, there, there are so many jobs out there that do not need English speaking, okay? And then a, a, a website where you can find English jobs is called englishjobs.fr. But of course, there are so many other uh, websites, but I know of this one. So English jobs, getting English jobs possible, Getting jobs that need at least some basic French also possible. But then you have more advantage when you can speak French. When you can speak comprehensible French. When you're not, when you're not necessarily fluent, but you can understand to some extent. And you can speak something that a French person can understand. If you're at that level, then you have various options. So you're not, you're not applying for jobs based on what language is required. You're just applying for all the student jobs. Now, do I advise you to start learning French before you come to France? Absolutely. Yes. You learn at home before you move here and then when you get here, you then get, you immerse yourself a lot in French. It will help you. Now, how easy is it to find student jobs in France? Like I said, there are a ton of international students trying to get jobs. There are jobs, I won't lie, there are, there are so many jobs in France. There are so many jobs everywhere, different kinds of jobs. I always recommend the things that worked for me. But then that's not, that's, that doesn't mean that it's the ideal way. Like, it's not like, oh my God, you have to do it this way else. Nothing else is going to work for you. No, it's just what worked for me. I would share that with you, but at the end of the day, you get to decide what works for you and you do that. So, I believe one of the best ways of getting a student job is in cruise. If you get to live in cruise, you're able to have, you're, you're able to um, get notified when there are student jobs available within the cruise that you live in. 
like for me, I, um, I had just walked up to the, the administration in the cruise and I told them that uh, if there are any jobs available that I would like to work during this summer. And already, if, you're, if you live in the cruise or if you don't or you visit the cruise, you'd see posters about student jobs that are available and you get to apply, you get to be the first person to apply. And then jobs like cleaning and all of that, they don't necessarily need an expertise of, oh, what did you study? No, it's just, I think it's mostly a first come first serve thing when it comes to jobs like that in cruise. So imagine you live in cruise and you see that poster first before anybody outside and you apply and you get it and you know, you're working. So for me, I told, I informed them and they're like, oh yeah, there will be jobs in the summer. Always plan ahead. When you're in France, plan ahead. Plan ahead. Or start asking questions early enough because it would dawn on me that there are so many things that are just in a platter of gold, but because you didn't ask questions before that, you wouldn't have any idea about it. I started asking questions about jobs and as soon as there were jobs available for the summer, cleaning the, the, cruise, the rooms in cruise and cleaning the kitchen and all of that, um, they, they, I mean, there were posters, and then since I had already asked the question to the administration in Cruz, they, they told me that jobs are available, and I was able to apply, and um, I got the job. <laughs> and I, I worked for two months, uh, August, no, July and August. I worked July and August, and then September I went back to school. So checking with Cruz is usually easier kind of puts you at an advantage you don't necessarily have to live in a cruise because there's no priority actually because the girl i was working with for the cleaning job doesn't she doesn't really live in cruise she doesn't live in cruise basically another way this is also kind of connected to cruise but is basically every french student if you are a french student if you're studying in france that means it's obligatory for you to have the mess service account so when you have the mess service account there is a there is a place in the mess service account where you are able to apply for jobs that are available to students in the city that you are in and this could include jobs that are available in your university or not the name is called job avis right so you're able to have access to all these jobs through your mess service account and you're able to apply yeah that is that for mess service and cruise another way that is usually very helpful to get a job is to check with your university directly like for example there are usually jobs available in the library in the bibliotheque where you get to be a library attendant or a library assistant or whatever so you check with your well, you don't get don't necessarily get to check with your professors because they don't I don't think uh, they get to play a huge role on that but you can check with your administration or preferably there's usually an international student coordinator assigned by the university so usually like when you get your admission to university in France there's usually the person that sends you emails about information on oh, how to go about your visa validation upon arrival and all of that so it's the international student coordinator when in doubt just contact your international student coordinator that is what that is their job their job is to make sure that you have every information you need but then they won't feed you they won't come to you you have to ask questions so you ask your international student coordinator oh i'm in need of a student job do you know if they are very if they are um openings or if the opportunities or anything like this in the, within the university like in the library or in the lab laboratory can be a lab assistant or you want to clean the laboratory or something they have information that are supposed to help international students right so if they do know about these job openings they will tell you or they will directly just help you you know these are like these are like my top suggestions for looking for jobs right then other ways that usually works for every like it works it's not that it's, it doesn't well it's possible that the the rest of these websites i'm going to list are going to be the ones that will give you the jobs so i just recommend what i recommend but that doesn't mean that's the only way that's the only thing that can work for you okay now coming to just applying directly on your own without like having to you know ask your university or the cruise or whatever there are websites that are really good for that. You have Indeed Jobs, 
you have Le Bon Coin, you have uh, Monji.fr, that's like the nanny website. And then another good thing, um, apparently, you know, there are Facebook pages um, about maybe international students in France or Moroccan students in France, Nigerian students in France, all of these. You can get information about, you know, maybe people that want to sell their belongings because they are moving out, they want to sell it at, at a cheaper rate. You can get information about jobs, you can get info, like all these helpful tips. Right, but then again, beware of scam because um, nobody should ask you to pay money for anything or for kind of oh, if you need this job, you have to pay so so amounts or this. No, 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 that's paper, <laughs> doesn't work that way. So, yeah, that's 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 why I have an issue with um, like Facebook pages, but then. Of course, as much as they are like people that scam and all, they are still good people that are really, are genuinely just there to help. So, Facebook pages are also there to help you. Now, coming to the minimum wage, like how much you can earn, as well as the number of hours you are allowed to work in France. An international student in France is allowed to work for a total of 964 hours in a year. Normally when, you, when you're working, it doesn't matter the job you're doing, even if you're doing a nanny job, it gets declared and France, the government knows how much you're earning, how many hours you're working for. So I won't advise you to do a job that is not necessarily declared in France. If you do that, if you get caught, you're in for something. So whatever you do, just don't continue the number of hours you have. So now coming to the minimum wage. So the minimum wage is around 10 euros, 25 cents an hour. So of course, like if you if you're doing a part-time job because you have your school, you may not get to work up to seven hours in an in a day, unless of course you take jobs where you have to work in the night. Like you go to school in the morning and then you work in the night, which would definitely Put a, a heavy strain on your studies unless of course you know you don't care about your grades would permit you the time to work as much as you want and earn a lot of money as much as you want but then of course keeping in mind that in a year you're not allowed to work more than 964 hours uh, it's your choice at all or not. another question i usually get on my instagram is can i can i pay my bills with my student job that's a very difficult question to answer because one, it varies, it depends on the city you're living in. If you're living in Paris, darling, <laughs> first of all, your rent would be like minimum 700 euros per month. And the room that is for 700 euros would be a tiny cubicle like this. And then you have to check your you know your your schedule and all of that so it's it's not it's not a yes or no answer it's it depends it varies if you if you're living in a city like Belfort uh, or like smaller cities where you're or you're living in a cruise in a small city where your rent is like 250 and then with the help of CAF you're able to pay like maybe 110 euros maybe your student job where you earn, um, let's say, 400 euros or 350 euros in a month can help you pay your rent. And then you have a little bit for your feeding. But in a case where you live in a place like Paris and you're doing a part-time job, first of all, you cannot pay your rent. <laughs> you can't, you know, so it all depends. It all depends unless of course like you work extra extra hours but at the end of the day it's going to put a strain to your studies and then you end up overworking yourself you burn out because you want to get money to pay for your rent and you know at the end of the day you're, you're stressed you're mentally stressed so if you know you if you know all I'm going to say is if you know that you want to solely depend on your student job for survival don't live in Paris 
don't live in Marseille, don't live in big cities because it's going to be very, it's, it's doable, but it's going to put a strain on your, both your mental health, everything. You're going to struggle. So if you know you do not have any support from home um, or any kind of support at all financially, then run for cities that are small where you get to pay lesser rent so that with that you're able to have something to survive on at least to buy yourself a nice clothes at least once in a while and you know hang out with your friends and you, know, you may say oh i don't think i need that but you do need it at some point you need to hang out with your friends <laughs> and you need to buy yourself something nice so that's the only advice i have for you actually and i think i have to bring this video to a halt because i'm tired and my eyes are closing i'm hungry and i want to sleep um i actually plan on making videos about bachelor's degree because i've had i've gotten a ton of questions regarding that but maybe i'll do that next week i don't know how my next week would be but in the coming weeks i'll try to do that as well as um I don't know. You uh, tell me whatever kind of video you would like to see next in the comments, or you can text me on Instagram as you wish. And I will try to find the time to sit down and do my research and then sh come and share with you. In the meantime, I will leave you with this. If you have more questions, please text me on Instagram. Thank you very much for subscribing, for watching, for asking your questions and finding my videos helpful. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.